Hi guys and welcome back to another mod installation tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.8. So the reason I'm actually making this is because there's a lot of false videos on, well, especially YouTube, you know, saying this is an installation for Minecraft 1.8 and it's actually 1.7. This is really for Minecraft 1.8. So in the description, I'm actually going to have this link, and it just goes to Optifine.net. This is the actual place, the official place where Optifine is actually held. As you can see, Minecraft 1.8. So the first thing you're going to do, obviously, is we're going to hit download. So this might change by the time that you guys have actually seen this. Um, this is just for 1.8. I don't know about the extra versions. If there's any changes at all uh, in the actual versions, then the title will only say, you know, this version. But if, for example, 1.8.1, if that comes out, it should work for it. If it doesn't, then just ask me to make another video, but the title should tell you. Anyway, go for the latest version, whatever it is. So mine is 18.11.2014. Uh, and there we go. If I just hit download, it'll take you to this ad fly link. This is just how they make money. Ignore everything here, because don't, don't click on that. It's this top bar here, and when it says there, skip ad, that's the one you actually want to click. Don't click any of this stuff. Uh, it'll probably be a virus. So if you just click on that one comes to here click that do keep and then there you go you can see that that's done so what I'm actually going to do is I've got a folder called tutorial mods that I've just got on my desktop I'm just going to drag and drop that one into there so if you've just got it on here if you've got um, you know Chrome or something like that it might be in downloads instead you know who knows but anyway now I've lost that goddamn folder haven't I but anyway let's find this tutorial mods there we go so the first thing we need to do is you need to make sure that you run Minecraft 1.8 first. So I'm going to do that and just do it completely clean with you guys. And actually I'll show you how to do it via creating a new profile because actually I don't think I've got one. So if we do a new profile and I'm just going to call this there we go, Minecraft 1.8 and on use version I'm going to actually tick this and there we go let's find 1.8 wherever it is. There we go. Minecraft release 1.8. Click that. Now this part here is actually how much RAM you want to allocate. My machine's a monster, it's actually got 64 gigs of RAM. So I actually allocate 24 gigs to Minecraft. What I advise if you guys haven't done this before, uh, say if you've got 4 gigs of RAM, only allocate 1 or 2. You know, don't go above half. And I'm even doing that with my 64 gigs. I'm going to give it 24, which is way more than you need. You then just do save profile. So we've got Minecraft 1.8 selected here. And you'll just start it up. Now we'll just let this load. There we go. Da -da. Make sure this gets all the way to the top, so I'm not going to skip through. There we go. So we've got Minecraft 1.8, as you can see here. And we got no Optifine. It's just the normal one. Uh, use them to... Oh, okay. That's actually attached to the data machine. Anyway. So if we just quit that. So close down Minecraft. As you can see, nothing's running. All I've got is that web page and just this. We're now going to double click on this. And there you go. You can see that it comes up with an installer these times. So. This installer will install Optifine in the official Minecraft launcher and will create a profile. So it will just create another profile for it. So if we just do install, and it's done. Now if we go back into Minecraft, if we start this up again, and I hate this bit, it always takes a while, but as soon as it gets up, let's go. There we go. So now what you'll have is Optifine. So I'm actually going to edit this, and you can see here that use version is release 1.8 Optifine pretty good. I'm actually going to call this Minecraft 1.8 Optifine, just so that I know. And again, if you want to do this, you can see that there's a load of stuff in here, this extra stuff. Uh, I have no idea what that's to do with, <laughs> but uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change this part here, uh, as that's actually your RAM. I'm going to change that to 24, so it's the same as i got normally. So there we go. If we now press play, it should hopefully load up. As soon as it actually does load up. There we go. So it's starting to load. I'll just show you guys in-game as well to prove that it is working. As soon as it does load. Uh, come on, Minecraft. So there we go. Finally loaded up. I'll just make this full screen. So if I just go into here, I'm going to create a new world because I've got some 1.8, uh, 1.7 worlds I don't want to get rid of. But I'm just going to do Opti Test. I don't want survival, I want creative or you know, world type, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do default and yeah, allow cheats and all this kind of rubbish. Create a new world, let's have a look at this. And there we go, all loaded up. So 
So, as you can see, especially if you've got Conquest, we've got connected textures now. So if we now go into video settings and you go into quality, this is what you'd have normally if we just connect this back. And you'll see that it's lagging like crazy. There we go. So this is with connected textures off, as you can see. Now let's prove it with one of the blocks that we know is connected. For example, uh, I think sandstone, yeah. Smooth sandstone is got connected, so this should be it, like this. So I'll move that up to there, and even go across maybe, just to prove. So this is normal. If we now get chiseled. I know that this one's definitely got connected textures. Now you do obviously need a, an actual texture pack with them. Now if I switch on connected textures on quality, there we go. Also switch this, and again it'll lag a little bit. It lags a little bit more than previous versions. I think it's just because it's uh, an early release and they've only just figured out how to do it. Especially with all the changes on 1.8. There we go, connected textures. So, look at that. Awesome. So that's how you get Optifine and connected textures on 1.8. I think I can prove it there. There we go. Optifine 1.8. So anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's a pretty nice easy one, a nice simple one. I do advise checking out Conquest because it's an awesome texture pack as well. Uh, that's the one I've used right here, and it's got connected textures all into it. Um, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.